Oh, you ain't, you ain't sitting? You standing? No. Let's do one of these. Showing your dominance. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I could, I could, I could own a foot of land in Scotland and call me Lord. I, I, would, I don't think I would call you Lord. <laughs> Just like I don't call Joey Lord. <laughs> it's been a, you guys lived the whole year since we did a fireside chat. Remember that was last year. It oh, felt yeah. like it felt like the summer that we yeah. had. No, it was. I think it was March or April. We did it right after. You know, in that range, I think. I mean, yeah. you guys have changed a lot. Hmm. So let's um, let's dive into something that I think is probably one of the most important conversations we'll have. No, we're not talking about the birds and bees, because <laughs> you guys know all about that, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, but we can have that talk. Nope. Like, no, I'm no, good. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Pass on that for now. Yep. Oh, okay. that. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you got to be uncomfortable. Remember, that's the only way you grow. So, anyway, one of the biggest things that a lot of people do not talk about is money. Why do you think that is? In school, you guys learn about money. No. no. You probably learn about math sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But we don't learn money. Money. Money's pretty important. Right? So just a couple of things that I want to go over that you guys have to take with you throughout your lives. Like whether or not you actually absorb these things is completely up to you and the remainder of your life will depend on them. The things that I need to learn, a lot of these things, you know, you have to learn on your own. People can tell you anything. They can say anything, but whether or not you choose to absorb it is completely up to you. Money's pretty important. A lot of people say, Money's the root of all evil. Well, it depends on what you what you do with it, mm-hmm. right? You can use money for evil. You can acquire mm-hmm. money through bad things, mm-hmm. or you know, you guys can get really passionate about what you want to do in life. You know, whether it's being a school teacher, whether you're an engineer, or you're a scientist, you're an investor, you're an entrepreneur. It doesn't matter. A, a real estate broker, whatever it is, be really passionate about it. Enjoy it because life's short. You know, so you've got to find something that you really like. Don't be a doctor just because everybody says, hey, being a doctor is cool. Know what goes into that. Know what kind of lifestyle you're going to live. You know, how many hours you're going to work. The biggest thing, though, is whatever it is, you need to live below your means. You know what that means? Spend less money than you're making. Yeah, I mean, that's it's pretty easy, right? So if you're making let's say $500 a week and you're spending $600 a week, then you're going to get in debt pretty darn fast. And you're going to spend a a large portion of your life trying to get out of that debt. Remember, debt can be a really positive thing, but you can either be on the side of debt, which you're earning interest lending it to somebody else, or you're making somebody else money. So you always want to be on the side of having plenty of money or when you first get started, it's going to be really, really hard because life comes at you fast. You all of a sudden you have housing, you have food, you've got all, you know, insurances, you've got gas, you've got car payments, you've got all this stuff that comes at you. Sounds great. You're going to get out there and get a job, but can you cover all of your expenses? The biggest thing that people do is they want to compete with everybody else. It's kind of like, what's a cool, really cool pair of shoes right now? Jordans. Okay, so you want to have a pair of Jordans, right? How much do Jordans cost? Like 60 to 100 average. <laughs> Holy smokes. So you guys won't be having a pair of Jordans? Nope. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so the, that pair of Jordans, if you can pay for those and not pay for them with credit, that's fine, but what people do, it's the same thing with houses, with cars, with clothing. Everybody compares themselves to everybody else. So it's called keeping up with the Joneses. So a lot of times what I've seen is you'll see somebody that buys a home in a neighborhood, maybe because somebody else did, somebody that they know. So they have a very similar job, but maybe their financial background's a little different and people get in debt. And maybe they can afford that house payment, but you walk into that house and there's no furniture. 
they can't afford the furniture. Or now they've got the house, so now they have to buy the furniture. So they leverage, they get, they buy it on credit. And what happens is that that payment that they have every month, just paying the interest is huge. So you never get out of debt. You just have this cycle where your paycheck, they call it paycheck to paycheck. So as much money as you bring in, you're leveraged, you pay, that's all you have. So you, if your credit, people see it as, hey, my credit went up. Somebody's willing to lend you more money. Yeah, they're willing to lend you more money because you're actually making a payment. So don't be surprised, but you always want to keep it so that you're paying off your debt every month. Now there's good debt and there's bad debt. So if you buy a house, for example, or a piece of real estate, let's say it's a multifamily. If you could do this, you guys are good. A two family or three family. So you're living, you buy it. Okay, let's say it's $200,000. And let's say rent would be $1,200 for that. Maybe your mortgage payment's $1,400. The person on the other side that's living in the duplex, the other apartment, owes you rent. So they're actually paying your mortgage payment, right? They're paying rent, it's going here. But meanwhile, if what's happening right now, the value of the dollar is dropping, right? Because we're printing a lot of money. Your mortgage payments, actually your mortgage is getting paid off by somebody else. So you're having all this equity. Equity is Right, it's what you, it's yours, right? So the more you, you, you put down on a property, the more equity you have, you know? So you gotta be passionate about what you do. Live below your means, save your money, okay? Save as much money as you possibly can, and then invest it, okay? And when you invest that money, you always want your money working for you, not you working for your money. Okay, so let's say it's $100 a month. Have it set up so that when you get your, your any money comes into your account, you set it up into three different categories. Anybody know what those categories would be? Savings, spending, giving. I like that. I like, the giving usually comes later on and you guys are already set up on that right now. So what I'm doing right now is checking, savings, giving, taxes. Taxes, taxes get snuck in there too because we have to pay our taxes and you always want to allocate that. But once you have money coming in, you can actually invest that, whether it's the stock market, um, whether it's real estate, maybe it's gold, um, as long as it's something that you think is appreciating in value, you know, it's going to be worth more in the future. Or if you think the value of the dollar is actually declining, just put it in something that is going to decline less. But Right, so compounding. So compounding is probably one of the most important things that you'll ever learn about. And I'm surprised that they don't teach you that in school. But you want that money, if you put a dollar somewhere, you want that dollar to be worth a dollar six or more next year. And then you get to take that dollar six and it compounds. And then the next year that dollar six is worth a dollar 13, a dollar 14. And it just over time, that just keeps going. And all of a sudden you build this nest egg where you have, you don't work financially about anything, but the majority of people out there, they get into debt immediately. They're trying to keep up with the Joneses because you care what everybody else thinks. And by the way, caring what everybody else thinks, you're always, you always think that everybody's thinking about you. 95% of the time, they're not. They're only thinking about them. So when you have these things going on in your head that says everybody's judging you, everybody's thinking about you, or they're not. They're thinking about themselves. So that's that's one that you learn later on in life. You know, when you're younger, you feel like everybody's judging you. Then you get a little older and you realize that nobody's judging you at all. The only one judging you is you. Is you. So yeah, we'll keep going with this. Fireside chat, perfect for this time of the year. Wish we actually had a fire going, but we don't. <laughs> um, but I appreciate it. Any question? We pretty much covered all of it. I covered everything? Yeah. My question well, is, for, uh, when did you turn on the camera? Because I thought this was just practice. <laughs> Perfect, <laughs> right? I'm not sure I actually did. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. You're welcome.